This video is a tutorial on bit shifting, particularly on what we call right shift. I'm going to make this very simple, so even if you are a beginner, you should be able to follow along, but it helps if you have a bit of knowledge on how binary numbers work. But here I'm just making an example, so I have one byte, which is 8 bits, and you should know that with binary numbers, every bit from the right to the left corresponds to a power of 2. So this is 2 to the power of 0, this represents 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, and so on. Here, this bit is 1, or we can say that this bit is on, it's not off, and it corresponds to the value 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. Here, this is the bit representation of the decimal number 4, so you have the bits in the second position, and I'm talking about zero base position here, so position 0, position 1, position 2, so 2 to the power of 2 is 4. The same thing applies here, we have position 1, and 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Let's talk about shifting now, and I'm talking about right shifts. So this here is the bit representation of the number 150. So here we have 128, because this is 2 to the power of 7, plus 16, 2 to the power of 4, plus 4, plus 2. So we have 128 plus 16, that is 144, plus 4, that is 148, plus 2, 150. When we shift this number by one position to the right, so we perform a single right shift operation, this sequence of bits is going to get pushed to the right, and empty slots on the left are going to get filled with zeros. So here I have a zero added here, because this sequence, you can see here, 1001, has been pushed by one position, so now it starts here. And then this here, 0, 1, 1, 0, has been pushed by one position to the right, so we have 0, 1, 1, and this last 0 here has been discarded. Now I'm pushing this again by one position to the right, and now we have another 0 here padded towards the left, and this sequence of bits has now been pushed by two positions. So at first it was by one position, and now it's by two positions. So this last one here has been discarded because it's now no longer available. So we only have 0, 1. This one here has been eliminated. So this here is the bit representation of the number 37. And you can count this yourself again. But there is something very interesting happening here. Whenever we shift a number to the right by one position, we actually divide it by two. So notice here, 150, after we push it to the right by one position, becomes 75, which is 150 divided by two. And then when we push it again to the right, we get 37. Now actually, one half of 75 is 37.5, but here it's getting truncated, we are only dealing with integers, so it's 37. This here is one more example. We have 174 represented in bit format, it's this number right here. And when we shift it to the right, this last zero gets discarded, so it becomes this sequence. And this represents 87. You can verify this yourself, but if you do 174 divided by 2, you're going to get 87. One more example, this is the number 48. This time around, instead of shifting it to the right by a single position, I shift it by three positions at once. So we have 0011. Now we have three more zeros pushed on the left side towards the right, and our sequence starts here. So we have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and these last three bits, these last three zeros, are now discarded. The question is, what is the formula for us to find what is the result after shifting a number by i positions to the right? So if we want to right shift a number by i and i equals 3, what is going to be the final result? The clear approach is like this. We'll have 48 divided by 2 after the first right shift divided by 2 one more time after the second right shift, divided by 2 a third time after the final right shift. So this here is a formula that we can apply. Whatever number we are dealing with, let's say it's 48, I'm using n here to represent that number, we can say n divided by 2 to the power of i equals the result. If we replace the values with 48 here, we're going to get 48 divided by 2 to the power of i, which is 3, and this is going to be the same thing as 48 divided by 8 equals 6. And you can see that here, 6 was the result after shifting the number 48 by i, which is 3 positions. So I'm going to stop this tutorial here. In the next video, I'm going to enter Visual Studio, and I'm going to show you guys how you can implement that into code.